Hi everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. After the untimely demise of my 2015 Toyota Tacoma, I needed to buy another vehicle for adventure travel. With my four-wheel camper also being lost in the accident, it opened me up to buy any vehicle I wanted. I didn't need a mid-sized vehicle specifically to fit my camper, which fit on a mid-sized truck. I settled on an F-250. These are the reasons why I bought it. Reason number one, 6.2 liter gas engine, 385 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque. All the power I'll ever need at a much cheaper price than the diesel. Reason number two, aluminum body, 300 pounds lighter than the previous generation, stiffer frame, and I don't have to worry about it rusting in the winter time. Reason number three, FX4 package, rear locker, skid plates, downhill assist control, and off-road tuned suspension. Reason number four, 33 inch tires straight from the factory with plenty of room for 35 inch tires without a lift. Reason number five, this truck has a high stance compared to some of its competitors. A lift is an option more than a requirement. Should help a lot with breakover angle and plenty of ground clearance. This particular truck came with a snowplow prep package. The heavy duty springs are a little bit too stiff for off-road use, but the high amp alternator should help with running the winch and charging the camper batteries. Reason number six for choosing this truck, the six and three quarter foot bed and super cab configuration will give us all the space we need at 148 inch wheelbase. Reason number seven, solid front axle. More robust than independent front suspension and it should translate to better articulation once I get the springs set up properly. Reason number eight, shift on the fly four wheel drive, which includes automatic hub with manual override. Reason number nine, the 34 gallon gas tank should easily get me 350 miles in most driving conditions. Reason number 10, the upfitter switches should make installing aftermarket accessories easy as pie. And the final reason for choosing this truck, 3,448 pounds of payload. From my mid-sized days, I know how easy it is to go over the payload capacity with a truck camper. I don't expect to ever go over the payload capacity with this truck. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I got some grass for you. I got some grass for you. Some grass. Come here. Come here, donkey. Come here. Look. Look, I got some grass. Some tasty grass. I got some tasty grass. Look, I got some tasty grass. Come on, I got some tasty grass for you right here. I'm holding it.